That is okay. Mary, so excited to hear your testimony. Why don't you share with us what your life was like before Christ? Before becoming a Christian, people would always say she's such a good kid or a good person. People thought very highly of me, and so did I. I loved it. My heart was consumed with pleasing people from being the future's pet to the favorite child and the coach's most beloved player. All the while, I was living a double life of stealing, ditching, lying, and carrying evil thoughts within. I went to church as a child and heard of someone named Jesus who died on the cross for my sins and rose on the third day, and all I had to do was believe that. Then I could move on with my life, and when I died, I could, I could go to heaven. I was baptizing when, when I was seven, and I guess I probably told someone I believed that, of course, because heaven sounded a lot better than hell. The only thing I remember from that day is smelling because I love to be in the water. So I was, <laughs> so not only was I getting the chance to do that, but my whole family could watch me. From that point on, I continued my life in sin, unchanged, with no desire to read my Bible, pray, or be in fellowship with other Christians. Fast forward nine years, I was 16 and dating the guy who is now my husband. Um, and who was a Christian. I was still living a double life while portraying to be Miss Perfect, while being totally consumed with the world. It was now time for college, and I was so excited to enter my party stages and do all the things my heart desired, all the while thinking I was a Christian and, and that God was perfectly okay with my sin because after all, he died because he knew I was a sinner. My freshman year of college, I was living the college life, all the while going to church on Sundays because my boyfriend wanted me to go, and I knew that I probably should because that's what Christians do, right? I remember thinking, why me? I really don't want to be here. I have a hangover, and I just really want to sleep. <laughs> his, his Christianity bothered me so much that we almost broke up a few times because he was raining on my party parade, <laughs> and I didn't want to feel guilty over the things that I enjoyed. Wow, so you were like this really good, perfect kid, but you were really bad. <laughs> but that's awesome. So now let's hear how the Lord began to work in your heart and draw you to Him. Um, it was now the summer following my freshman year of college, and it was time for me to head home for the summer to be with my family before the start of sophomore year. No friends or partying left me with a lot of time to think. I remember one specific night... In my brother's room, I sat on his bed and thought about the scriptures that I heard over and over again over the years. And the best way I can describe it is an awakening began to happen. Everything that I heard all of a sudden became real. Christ was real. God was real. The Bible became real and my sin probably became a reality as well. But his precious love was enough to reconcile me with the Father. And though I was deserving of hell, Christ in his great love and mercy saved me. I remember crying out to God and repenting of my sin over and over again. Wow, what a great day, huh? That is awesome. So now, Mary, what is your life like since you've come to know Jesus Christ? When I got back to college sophomore year, God began to give me godly desires. From that day on, God has been sanctified in my life. I no longer abide in my sins, but I struggle against them. Before the thought of church and Bible study irritated me, but now I wanted to be the first one there. The boyfriend that once bothered me because he wanted to live a life that honored the Lord, I now wanted to marry him, and we were engaged four months later. I now delight in the Word of God. Christ has become everything to me. I want to honor and glorify him in everything I do. Though not perfect, I now take rest in his perfect love and his finished work on the cross. I was not aware of the biblical command of getting baptized after conversion, but after learning of this commandment, I am eager to be obedient and getting baptized today. That is awesome. Thank you so much.